Mary Garcia coaches long distance runners on the L. Diamante track and field team. Little did she know last year she would have to go the extra mile. Mary Garcia ran track in high school, but last year she had one more race against time. A mass the size of a grapefruit, uh, and it was sitting right in, right in my chest, pushing against my heart. Mary found a lymphoma tumor 18 centimeters wide just in time. What would have happened maybe a week later, yeah. might have been too late, yeah. The track coach found herself running for the finish line of a most grueling race. Unfortunately, uh, four months of chemo takes everything out of you, and uh, you know, you just got to rebuild. Rebuilding meant three words, just keep moving. Even on the cancer unit, I kept doing laps around, you know, the whole unit. And I just kept moving. I took bands with me. I was doing bands, you know, off the bed. Yeah, I just, uh, I stayed active the whole time. I just, that was like my goal, is to keep moving. While Mary fought cancer, her El Diamante team leapt into action. I try to reach out to her at least on a weekly basis just to let her know I was thinking about her. I felt personally her coaching would help her want to fight even more, especially when, you know, your athletes care for you like you care for them, you know, because they're really concerned, you know, like she's going to be out here. Not even the team knows how much their words meant to Mary. Some of the messages that I got, you know, there were some, you, you know, that said like, keep fighting, you're going to make it. And there was other messages that were like, when are you coming back? Those when are you coming back, like straight to the point was like, dang, they have faith in me. Like, you know what I mean? They're ready for me. With her team motivating every step, Garcia rang the bell and won her most important race. This week marks six months post-chemo. On chemo, it was destroying her whole entire body, and her mind was like, hey, I'm going to keep my body moving. Like, nothing's going to bring me down. If that's not a testament to these kids to keep working when times get hard, then I don't know what else is. She is a true inspiration to all of them. Garcia will return to school for her kinesiology degree. She would like to become a PE teacher and help kids keep moving because that is what saved her life.